Leon Festigner founded cognitive dissonance in 1957 and is defined as when our behavior conflicts with our attitudes. This causes discomfort and we, in response, we try to reduce it. Cognitive dissonance can be reduced by either changing our behavior to bring it in line with what we think is right, or by changing our ideas of what we think is right to continue on with a behavior. Cognitive dissonance can be seen in every aspect of human life, whether it is in our culture or our behavior. Here, we have found an example in the popular media that perfectly demonstrates what cognitive dissonance is. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Ross. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> and you're the father, by the way, but you got it. <laughs> Can I get you some water? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Ross, there is no pressure on you, okay? I mean, you can be as involved as you want. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just, I don't know. I don't understand um, how this happened. <laughs> we, we used a condom. I know, I know, but, you know, condoms only work like 97% of the time. What? What? <laughs> what? Well, they should put that on the box! In this scene, it is evident that Ross is feeling extremely uncomfortable in this situation and is surprised by the news of Rachel's pregnancy. Ross has experienced cognitive dissonance, which, as described before, is a negative feeling that results when someone's actions and beliefs clash and contradict one another. Ross is experiencing this feeling because he believed that he and Rachel were being careful and he did not want a baby with someone he was not dating. However, she still ended up pregnant, which led to this feeling of discomfort. Ross's actions led to a consequence that could threaten his self-image, and because of that, this feeling of dissonance is present. They do! No, they don't! <laughs> well, they should put it in huge black letters! Okay, Ross, come on, let's just forget about the condom. Oh, well, I may as well have! Listen, you know what? I was really freaked out, too, when Freak I found out. Hey, no, I'm not freaked out. <laughs> I'm indignant as a consumer. In this part of the scene, it is easy for the audience to tell that Ross is extremely surprised, even though he says he isn't. Instead, he is engaging in a process known as dissonance reduction. In order to decrease this feeling of dissonance that Ross is feeling, he attempts to change his cognitions by stating that he is not freaked out at all over the news of her pregnancy and as if he is not scared that he is the father. Also, Ross tries arguing with the condom company, even though it is written on the box that they only work 97% of the time. In this case, Ross is attempting to self-justify his actions by excusing them and placing the blame on the condom company. He is blaming the pregnancy on the failed condom and not on himself. Therefore, he is taking part in external attribution. You know what? Let's, let's talk later. No, no, I want to talk now, okay? I, in fact, I want to talk to the president of the condom company. Okay, you know what, maybe I should come back. Okay. Yeah, I'll press one. 